Alright, welcome back my friends. How's it going guys? Tupac Tom here. It's super hot out today, so I decided to hang out in the basement, here in the cellar, the Zen Den. Izzy's on the windowsill. She's looking at Bunny. She's wanting to kill him. She's in the zone. I'm in the zone. Let's do this. Episode 11 of our Jaws with playthrough. Hope you guys are having a good weekend thus far. And I hope you continue to, to have... Oh, 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 God. Oh, it's Izzy. Izzy, stay back. Back, baby. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, good. She's leaving me alone. All right, we can we can do this properly now without her uh, drooling on us. All right. Kurgash is over here. Right, okay. So, yes, 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 yes. It's all coming back to me now. The last we have here of Gorst, the remnants of Gorst, uh, is... Oh, he doesn't even have Shambletown anymore. Good, he lost that to Greasy. Uh, all he's got left is uh, Sigford here. Just this Necromancer on the verge of wiping him out. He's going to kill himself on this garrison here of Kugis. Um, luckily, we were able to uh, acquire military access with Kugis starting to like us. He's warming up to us. Oh, well, he was. And now it's going back down. So, okay, well, we'll, we'll let's put our head in the sand for now and forget that this is happening. We'll, we'll take a look at that later. All right. I think they're mad. So we have some points here to allocate. This is our special Hobgoblin army with the legendary hero, of course. And I'm pretty excited to see just how badass he gets into the late game. Something I haven't experimented too much yet. We did acquire him in our Astrogoth playthrough here on the channel. Our, uh, not a Let's Play, but our live stream um, when the DLC first dropped. And I think we got our hero up to like, I don't know, maybe level 25 or so, but... But yeah, I, I didn't feel he was in like the, the true late game. Yeah, he hadn't reached his full potential even then. So, curious to see how that goes. All right, let's repair this crap here. There we go. Um, let's see, 3,100. We're making 1,000 a turn. What's the likelihood of Imbric declaring war on us? Let's take a look here. Uh, it's pretty high. That's yeah, definitely pretty high. Okay, it's about equal balance of power to us. Interesting. Okay. We're at 100% efficiency. We'll keep an eye on that. Good. All right. So where is where is the big greasy man himself? Uh, I don't see him at the moment. I do see one of his armies here. Big old 20 stack being slung around here in the hills. Um, and then we also have a, an army here of Zhao Mings. A Nobly Gorge. Um, greasy is still at war with him. Oh, no. They're not actually at war with one another. Interesting. We are, in fact, at war with... Uh, with Zhao, though, ourselves. We just took out Gorse's main capital here. Let's put a little money into it. We already have. Let's continue to do so. It's, it's prime real estate. It's 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 cornered. You know, it's it's tucked away here in a corner uh, on a coastline that you can't really land on. There's nothing to our south, nothing really to our uh, southeast, not much to our southwest. Just Kugi, who's our, kind of our, you know, our way to being the buddies. So we're pretty well insulated here. So let's... You know what? I'm just going to spend 2800 Yeah. Yeah. How much would this take to, to rush 800 Oh, uh, yeah. We're war very far off from that since we just acquired this province altogether. So, that's okay, though. We'll get there. Could level up the egg building. Uh, sure. Yeah, it costs a little money, but that's okay. Let's hold off on this, though. Uh, you get so much just out of the first... Well, yeah, the first tier. Tier 2 version of this building. Some real great units that you can use into the late game, really. Of course, these are better, higher tier units, uh, and they do similar functionality as these base units, but they're just like kind of better, more elite versions of them. So, not really imperative to level that up quite yet. That's okay. We could grab another blunderbuss. In fact, I think I'm going to. Yeah, let's grab another one. We've reduced our global recruit duration down a bit uh, via our new hero. He reduces uh, Hobgoblin recruit duration, so let's utilize that. We have a little money. Let's grab a couple cab units, just so we can take an artillery crews, that kind of thing. Yeah, and there we go. Cool. Black Fortress, we could improve the garrison here a bit. That would take up the remaining amount of our money. Let's hold off on that. I don't quite want to do that. There's better ways to allocate our money. 
We look at Thingrimus's army here. Thingrimus. He doesn't have any movement left, otherwise I'd finish off this guy. But it's okay, he'll kill himself on the garrison, like I was saying, no big deal. And let's check out our tech. What to start on next? What to start on next? Um, I was talking about this last episode, maybe going down this route to improve our demon engines eventually. Um, could I fireborn? That would be kind of cool. I mean, that is our main shtick here. Well, one of them at least. The fireborn. Um, we'd start benefiting them here, even. Recruitment cost reduction. We're low on armaments, though, so let's be fairly frugal with how we spend it. Raising and sacking. Hmm, 10%. Raise and sack, raise and sack. Um, yeah, we do some sacking. We'll do some sacking for sure. Let's go ahead and do that. Alright, on sign skill point, I believe it's on our convoy overseer. Yep, okay. Let's grab that. Cool. Where are we? Uh, oh, we have one of Tretch's armies kind of next to us right now. That's, that's nice. We've just recently got some man eaters in here as well. It's pretty cool. Cool. Hasn't moved yet. Luktas. Ah, yes, Luktas. No real need to go adventuring up to the mountains quite yet. Um, because at the moment we don't have any scouts over to the east. Which is what we want. So let's get you kind of scooched over there. Our next target will be Nobly Gorge. Now, it'd be nice if Greasy's army takes this guy out, or at least weakens him in the process of dying. Let's find out. Here we go. Moving on. Okay. Oh, Feng Hong. Did they fight? I looked away for a split second over at OBS, and then I turned back and... Whoosh, I missed my opportunity to know what the WTF is going on. Ah, uh, let's see. A rare standard gives a unit unbreakable. Extra melee defense, AOE imbuements. Oh, man. And a nice little weapon strength bonus. Or some influence. It's only... It's only 25. It's not that much. For like 100, I do that, but... I want that standard. That's unbreakable, man. Unbreakable is a very powerful mechanic of this game. blue. All right, is this army weakened at all? No, that indicates they did not fight. Kugi's here as well. Okay, oh, Siegfried is out in the water now. Uh-oh. I'm actually quite surprised he didn't make a move on the garrison. He still has hope. And he recruited like a half stack. Naturally, naturally. Uh, can we even take that now? Yeah, we, we, we can. All right, let's try to cut him off. I think he is coming for our garrison here. I might recruit a lord here. Although Kugi is able to reinforce it, I think. It's uh, it's still gonna be close. Just just to just in case. Though, let's grab it to overseer and actually do we have a, a sorcerer prophet already recruited? I think we do. No, oh, maybe not. Uh okay, let's grab superior. Yeah, those are two. Pretty decent traits. About that. Okay. Nice thing about Chaos Dwarves, of course, they don't affect our supply lines. The the lords themselves don't. The traditional army does not affect it. But you still have to pay a little upkeep, so. I just want him here to kind of protect the settlement just in case. He should be fine here. I don't think we should even need to spend any money on renowned units to protect it any further. Alright, no caravan coming through this turn, unfortunately. Kind of a bummer. Looks like Clan Rictus, Tretch in other words, is doing very well for himself. He's over here. Uh oh, Thorgrim, they're gonna have a showdown here in the mountains. Oh my goodness. I'm curious to see what unfolds there. Uh, let's talk to Tretch. Okay, he's not quite open to a military. I don't even know if I'm open to a military quite yet. I'll have to think about that later. Astrogoth, let's talk to you again. Okay, okay. He has a war with Grimgor, so. Uh, in effect, he has he is acting a, like a roadblock for us, for the time, for the time being at least. Okay, should we try to hunt down this army, or should we take advantage of the fact they've kind of opened up the passageway for us to go go down? Um, let's do 
let's do the latter. Let's move you first, though, just to see if we can identify any other armies back here on their way to reinforce. Yes, there's about a half stack here. You'd be mindful of that. It looks like they marched over here, too. They're here to get over in this direction in a hurry by the looks of it. So let's take this army and... Oof, there's Trisha out there. Right, right. Is that from... Oh, it's still from Vampire Corruption. It's still bad, isn't it? Mm, okay, well, we could underway. Uh, I think we're okay to underway. Let's just get over there. Cool. That's fine. That's fine. If this guy wants to come and brawl, that have at it. We've made some improvements to our army. I think we're ready to go. It's not an amazing army by any means, but it's got some tools, and it's uh, fairly flexible. Look at that going. A lot of the power is centered around Astrogoth himself. He's going to be turned into a powerhouse here. Small but fierce. Uh, let's see. Dispatch available, but let's not spend any resources on that. So you leveled up? Oh, the Overseer again. Nice. This guy's on a roll. Uh, let's go with, what's this, uh, shortcut cost reduction, uh, I want to get him kind of tanky, we need some melee defense, let's get this guy kind of chonked up a little bit, pumped up like a Reebok shoe, alright, moving on, remember those Reebok shoes, oh man, I love those, I used to rock those things, sometimes they'd pop though, and you're like, ah, damn, one foot comes, feels funny. Oh, well, there's Greasus himself. He's come down from the mountains, it seems. And Feng Hung has come back east. Uh, oh, good, good. Excellent. Gorse was killed here by Kugath, by the looks of it. Cool. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. All right, Thing Grimatis, what to do with you? I don't think there's any need to come down here any further. Let's bring you back over to... This is great. We have an ally... Stretch to our west, or more so northwest, but also Greece is to the northeast. It's awesome. And Kugi to our south. We're kind of insulated now. Uh, I think we might need Thingramatz's help over to the east as well. Yeah, Xiaoming, I should say, is quite powerful right now. Let's verify that, actually. Let's get a, like a feel for... Yeah, see, he just surpassed us in balance of power. He's got quite a few armies out there. We need to be prepping for. One of them being right here. We need to take that on, but we'll fight that here in a second. Alright, Kugi. Let's get rid of this army now. Not that he costs supply lines, but it would save us a little cash. Cool. Play Rock, how you doing over here? We did turn off accepting new labor. Uh, we're at... Oh, our efficiency did go down a little bit, but that's okay. We'll, we'll address that here in a sec. Let's... Let's handle this situation here. What do we got? This guy was able to make it back to his garrison. Or this gal, I should say. It's a gal. Um, okay. Do we want Luke Toss a part of this process? He could come over here and help fight. Could give him some XP. We'd have to get rid of a unit, though. What do we want to get rid of? A lot of armor here. Most everything in this army is armored, for the most part. A lot of jade. Um, we do have a lot of armor here, so we should be okay. Magic here is pretty decent. Good. She's a level 11 lord. Okay. Anything I could steal here? Uh, not really. Alright, let's get in here. Let's get in here and just make this happen. We could grab a renowned unit, but... The Granite Guard. Oof. Yeah, those guys are pretty... Pretty, pretty awesome. I'm tempted to grab them. We have two Blundies in a Fire Lave at the moment. Uh, you know what? I want I want that AP. We need that. We need that chunk. Yeah, that's gonna help us just bring down all these jade warriors of different types that they have. Cool. Close and low. We'll fight this though. We need a good fight, and this will be a good one. She herself is a caster as well. With uh, oh god, spirit leech. We're gonna want to mark her pretty early. What else do they got? Some more crossbows, three cav in total, um, and a lot of basic jade. Okay, then my main my main uh, unit to keep an eye on here, I think, is the Crane Gunners. Aside from that, uh, the Lord, and then, of course, shutting down the various ranged units uh, when we're able to. Okay, let's take a look at the map. Okay, cool. All right, let's do this. Let's make a little scrap.
Okay. Crane gunners. Let's see if we can get an eye on those guys early on. This is our first fight uh, with Drazweth having his barrier now, which is pretty awesome. I'm excited to see that in action. Barrier is a very strong mechanic, especially on characters. Flying caster lords that are already tanky. Given barrier, it's just... Mm, love it. Alrighty, so... Where are those crane gunners? Oh, uh, yeah, all shits. Oh, uh, there they are. Okay, right dead center. Cool. What's the range again? Let's remind ourselves. 275. All right. So, let's look for choke point opportunity. Hmm. We have the ranged advantage, don't we? Actually, no, they do. They do in the form of those crane gunners. So let's stay back until we're able to neutralize those. All right, so we do have some mobility now, which is good. They also have Vanguard. Uh, they could be one of the tools we use to take those crane gunners down. Let's keep them over here on the left flank. We'll keep them together as one group. Actually, we keep keeping them over here. This isn't a bad spot either. Where are most of their cav? They have two cav on the right flank, our right flank, and one cav on our left flank. Hmm. We'll stay back on this side. It would be nice to use Drass with the takedown. Some of that cav will re-engage the front line. I'm going to use this rock face here as kind of a, a buffer to one of our flanks. Let's just sit back kind of like this. Um... No real hill down here to utilize, but that's okay. Actually, knowing that there's no hill to utilize. Let's bring you guys out this way just a little bit. To allow for one of our blunderbusses to kind of wrap around the flank. Yeah. And we'll just kind of go like this. Oh man, oh my gosh, look at the surface area. The sheer surface area of all of our orc labors is pretty cool. I'm a fan. And then we'll keep two of our blundies on this side. You could space out, as we've seen before in other battles that we've played. We've we've uh, we've seen this formation be used effectively. Um, but you know, I like I like using both. Sometimes I like tightening the lineup and then wrapping our blundies around the flanks. But there's various ways to do it. Uh, basically, I'm trying to screen out the cab that I know they're going to be trying to uh, work around our. Um, our right flank most likely. It's got our fire glaze posted up here in the middle. Something like that. And then we can space out a little more with our warriors. Of course these middle guys here do have those grenades. A couple of of those grenades. Let's put you guys in a group as well and put you in guard mode. Okay, I think we're ready to do this. Punch it, Chewie. <laughs> Okay, let's check the fire arc of those crane gunners again. They're looking backwards right now, so it's not really giving us any info. Could just march up there. Not sure. Not sure. Could just fly, draws within there, go right after their lord. I'm tempted to do that and just immediately start casting spells. Although we don't have our main AoE spells yet. Like we don't, we don't have any of them. Not quite yet. We need to be a few levels higher. I wonder how effectively it could juke the ammo of the crane gunners. Let's try it. Watch this. Uh, oh, we juked a fireball. Oh, here we go. This works. So we got our barrier plus the trees are giving us some cover. This is this is actually a really nice situation. This just allow us to waste that ammo of theirs, which is uh, going to be a big loss to them. I don't know how much else other than their jade crossbow, which we'll, we'll shut down with just sheer numbers. I'm taking some light damage on our shields, but enough time is actually passing between each shot that our shield is able to regenerate a bit, I think. Uh, it's close. Uh, no, they, they are slowly, consistently uh, tinking it down, but that's okay. We're still at about half barrier. No big deal. Let's do an ammo check. They're at about one-third of their ammo remaining. Another fireball juked. Man, I got lucky with those, actually. All right. A few more jukes needed. These trees have been nice. They're probably blocking out, say, I don't know, maybe a third of the shots, half of the shots. All 
All right, maybe two more volleys. Didn't even get past our barrier. And there we go. Cool, they're out of ammo. Now, let's start squishing up our main line, but staying kind of on the, more so hugging this wall. So hugging, yeah, creating our left flank up against that wall. Like this. So at least one of our flanks are covered. And actually the right one is as well. These guys, the, the cav that is, will have to come on the other side of this mountain range. and uh, It will give us more time to wrap around orcs if need be and position up our ranged assets to, to fire at them. Alright. Let's see. Let's try to bait out some of that cav. Let's see if we can get these guys over here. Two of their cab units from this side. Just harass them a little bit. They're gonna try to shimmy over. Let's try a breath attack. Let's do. Oh, nice. Oh, oh, oh. It didn't do it. Come on, do it. There we go. Okay. He like kept it in his mouth or something. That didn't do anything. That didn't do absolutely anything. Oh man, that was a bugged puke right there, if I've ever seen one. That was not effective at all. It looks like it just got wasted. Uh, animation was almost like, it almost seemed like it didn't make it to its target. Like the effect maybe just vanished into thin air right before it actually made contact with the horses. I don't know. Whatever it was, it was a waste, but that's alright. It's alright. Let's try a couple of these. Boom! Curious to see how it does against Jade Warriors. It's doing a little damage. Okay. Wasn't amazing. Oh, I did it on a Jade Warrior. Damn, I thought I'd attacked the crossbows with it. Oh well. Let's try it again. We can keep scooching up while we're harassing. There we go. It's doing a bit of damage. Yeah, actually, nice grouped up a bunch of them as well. That landed pretty pretty squarely on the units. Now, these are the type of situations using this type of lore with barriers specifically on units like this with infantry or what, whatever. Getting off some spells like this uh, while not taking any damage at all. They're not getting past our barrier. We're able to kind of harass, pull back, and then replenish our barrier, go back in, and rinse and repeat. It's quite annoying for them, because as you can see, we're doing permanent damage to these units, whereas they're not inflicting any onto us. We're also pulling away some of their units away from their main formation. I keep scooching up a little more. Good. That spell's doing pretty damn good damage, actually. It's cheap as well. We got another breath attack. Breath attacks can be tricky to use when you're trying to juke small arms fire, though. Let's try it, though, see if we can get off. Blah. There we go. That's better. Actually landed squarely. I'm glad these guys are conveniently bunched up like this. This makes it quite easy. Just to get some decent damage applied. Oh! I love it. Keep juking, though. Keep juking. Let's not get lazy. There we go. And look at that. He's seen us taking a lot of damage here. We could fly around the back side of them. Actually, I'm going to do that. Let's just go for it. While we engage here, the whole army is going to be trying to bake up their minus to square up towards us. Let's just engage all together. I want to keep one of you guys back here. All right, there we go. Horses are still following us. That's fine. That means they're not harassing our front line. Let's go right for their lord. Right for him. Now, next main target is shutting down these archers. Crossbows, rather. Most of them are crossbows. Okay, stay here. 
Okay, one other Jade. Lancer just is coming at us. We do outpace them, though, with our units, so let's take advantage of that. Facts, or is there a Lord? Right. Drop a little AoE. I believe that's an AoE. Come on. Oh, shit. I guess they'd be firing. Actually, shoot at. Yeah, keep shooting these guys. Nice, good grenades. There we go. Let's bomb those guys up. Go. Ah, those archers are gonna get us. On the swipe. All right, we're gonna have to that lord. Let's go. Some of you guys over here, let's get some shots on these cab over here. You guys need to position yourselves like this. Fall back from those archers if you can. Alright, this cab caught us on one side. Keep falling back, keep falling back. Those archers outrange us, so it's not. Let's shoot these guys here. There we go. Alright. Out of barrier. Ooh, these guys got us surrounded here. It's okay. Um, oh, the Lord's coming back. Let's go after him. Those guys up. Keep cutting those guys, actually. Come on, get that guy. Let's go. Ouch, 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 they're hurting. Ouch, 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 ouch. Good shots there on the left flank, though. For sure. Okay, let's chase this guy's off. Good. Just avoid the... The basic Jade melee wars. I need to go after the crossbows in particular. These guys need to be stopped, though. Cab are running kind of rampant around here. Let's get our lord to finish off their lord, too. Come on. Finish him off. Let's go. Keep on the archers. Good. We've kind of stabilized over here. Good. Good job. I'm proud of our warriors over here. Let's get these guys flanking this way. Actually, pivot you guys turn around. There we go. They're going to start rallying over here. They need to be mindful of that. There we go, get some orcs over there that rallied. There we go, a lot of damage there on the flanks. What are you doing here? Let's wrap you guys over here. I want to shoot down this line right here. Just like that. Lord rallied again, once again. He's got to be close to shattering. He's got to be close. Come on. Big volley in these... Oh yeah, oh yeah. Ripped. Beautiful shots. One more big volley. Beautiful, beautiful. So much damage potential with those guys. Absolutely insane. 
Ah, oh, the horse is gonna make it. Oh, get him! Come on! Ugh. Oh, it's been the ongoing theme of this whole campaign. It's just trying to take out lords at the last second. No! Ah! Oh. Oh. <sighs> we try. We try. Alright, well, we definitely got beat up there, but overall, smashed him pretty good. It was a good scrap. The map wasn't really conducive to range units all that well. And so our range units got fired back on by uh, their range units, which outranged us. They outranged us by, I don't know, that's by 30 or 40 meters, and so you could really see the difference there. Plus, they didn't need line of sight. They're bows. They can shoot over their own line, whereas we're just trying to establish line of sights through ours. It's, uh, it's a bit tricky, but once you get in um, a good line of sight on a target, you can lay in with the blunderbusses and the fire glaives quite nicely. As you saw there. Cool. Warriors still in great shape. Love it. Dress with barely didn't went below his barrier. Uh, the orcs took a lot of damage, but that's, you know, that's, that's fine. That's what they're there for. And only one of our units really got beat up. Both our cav were able to kind of compose themselves towards the end and rally. But they were taken on jade warriors, which, yeah, they, they can't trade into. They don't have the armor piercing for that, but that's okay. Awesome, much total damage. About 20,000 with Drazwith. Cool. Yeah, the warriors did great. They are so stout, so sturdy. And yeah, see, all of the blunderbusses still, and the, and the, the fire blades for that matter, all got over 100 kills. Nah, not shabby at all. Not shabby at all. But, oh, the takeaway here. Barrier is amazing. Absolutely amazing. It's it's just, it's a game changer. Once you get it on a lord, mobile lord, especially caster mobile lords, um, they, they just become powerhouses. Absolutely love it. Okay, so Nobly Gorge, this was not a capital... We have the capital of this province already. Let's make this one into... Let's make this a factory. Yeah, let's make another factory. Cool, got a standard at this point. We'll take that. Not shabby. Unlock the Immortals, Infernal Iron Sworn. Love these guys. I'm going to be excited to use those. Cool. All right, guys. Well, I think I'm going to call it there for this one. We just hit about the half hour mark. That's going to be kind of like the the uh, probably our average length of these episodes going on. So, yeah, thanks for uh, watching this, guys. I appreciate you all, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.